Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the New York Jets franchise as your 7-2 Jets take on the 6-3 Carolina Panthers. We are headed into the second half of this season, and we have a very, very tough schedule. Last episode, we saw three injuries. Chuma Edoga got hurt, torn labrum. BJ Hill torn labrum two weeks ago, and three weeks ago, Peter Weeks is out with a torn labrum. So many torn labrums here for your Jets. Injuries is something we didn't have to deal with last year. We didn't really see any, but now it's starting to hit us here in season two. But we have a ton of good teams towards the end of our schedule. In this episode, we focus in on one of the best teams in the NFC South, in the Carolina Panthers. They have a resurgent offense with Robbie Anderson, DJ Moore, also Christian McCaffrey. Now, they have a very good young defense as well. So this is going to be interesting. Led by Javon Warren at middle linebacker. He's playing next to Shaq Thompson, those two Man, the middle of the field, Javon Warren is having himself a great start to his rookie campaign. Now, Peter Childers, they drafted early in the draft, but he is still only like the number four receiver on their depth chart. And then they drafted Larry Powell, who was actually hitting Deb Trey out of Marquette. Remember him from our uh, Wisconsin State Whitetail series. Now, Larry Powell right now is actually fourth in rookie of the year voting in the NFC. How about Pat Perez and Dan Settle, number one and two? Now, remember, we have some superstars now. Alex Hopkins has unlocked his uh, superstar X Factor. And now we have Quinnen Williams and Jordan Jenkins joining Makai Bett as superstars on our team. So here we go. Let's get into this game as Carolina starts out with the ball. And they are at home. Let's see if they can get their seventh win on the season as they're the Jets try to move to eight and two. What a start that would be. So out comes Teddy Bridgewater. 24 touchdowns, six interceptions, having himself the biggest year of his career by far. And now let's see if we can stop this explosive offense. So here first and 10 now at their own 20. Bridgewater throws and it's across the middle to the former New York Jet, Robbie Anderson on the outside. You know he's got that speed. I'm gonna have to contain him. It's a first down, a gain of 27 to start out this game. So now close to the 50, handoff. Christian McCaffrey falls forward and he gets to about the 50 yard line. So second and six under center this time, three wide receivers out there. It looks like T T Teddy's gonna throw across the middle. He's got Robbie Anderson again, wide open. First down, two for two, 51 yards for Bridgewater already. So first and 10 now, at about the 26 now. Bridgewater in the pocket. The pocket's collapsing, he's gonna try to run out, and he's gonna get Got run it. down! And that looks like it was uh, Quinn and Williams and CJ Mosley running him down, and Mosley gets credit for the sack. So second and 11 now from the 27 yard line, Bridgewater. He's gonna throw a screen pass out to the right side. It's gonna be McCaffrey who breaks the tackle. He jukes out of another one and picks up just about a gain of 18 yards. So third and four now at the 19. Throw to left side, wide open. It's gonna be Gerald Everett, who they have at tight end now. He gets inside the five yard line, first and goal. They have a ton of weapons on offense. So second and goal, handoff. This time McCaffrey, he's in, touchdown. And the Panthers strike for first as Christian McCaffrey Gets into the end zone. He was involved in the passing game and running the ball well, as always, as it's a 7-0 lead as Sam Darnold comes out onto the field. Finally over that 500 mark of touchdowns and interceptions, 18 to 16. And here we go. Let's see if our offense can contain this Panthers offense and keep up with them. So here is Berrios getting the first catch across the middle. Gain of 20 already for Braxton Berrios. It's a first down. We always like to get Berrios involved early so that we can open up opportunities for the other guys later. Here we have a reverse call this time. Pitch out to Jameson Crowder. He tries to get to the outside, but then gets run down by Brian Burns. Loss of seven yards. And that brings it to an eventual third and 17. So P. Ryan and Herndon back in the backfield as Sam Darnold switches the play from the shotgun. 
We block P. Ryan. We throw across the middle to Le'Veon Bell, and it is going to be dropped and knocked away. So now we come back out on defense as Bridgewater already has a good offensive possession put together already. Throw to left side, and it's Gerald Everett. And he's going to be tackled by C.J. Mosley, who's having himself a pretty good season. So second and four now, 36-yard line. Bridgewater throws deep, and he's got a man. That's Robbie Anderson. He's going to take off. Touchdown. He was left wide open, and that was a broken play on that one. Let's just take another look. Who was over there? It looks like Levi Wallace just made a mistake on that one. He went with the in route on that. And look at this. He did have that deep zone, and it is 14-0. So busted coverage brings it to a two-score lead for the Panthers. Here is Darnold throwing on the next drive out to the right side, Herndon. But he drops it, so he could have had a gain of about eight. Ends up being an incompletion. Second and ten, draw play, Le'Veon. Stopped in the backfield, and that is Javon Warren on the stop. So third and 12 this time. Darnold throws deep to the right side. It is caught. Barrios in traffic in on the sideline. First down, he's got the only two receptions of this game so far. So handoff, P. Ryan in the game, big time hole. 18 yards for him, a first down. Jamison Crowder is down. So we get it to the 30 yard line this time, handoff, second and 10, Le'Veon and tackle in the backfield once again. This defense has been pretty stout so far. But we get some bad news. Once again, another torn labrum. Jamison Crowder, you've got to be kidding me. That's a four-week injury, as we have saw, saw from our other injuries. And we're going to be missing Jamison Crowder going into the toughest part of our schedule. So we do get it inside the 21 on that catch. His Le'Veon's in the backfield for a fourth and one. We're going to hand off to him, and he's going to fight forward, and he gets the first down. But, man, the devastating news that Jamison Crowder is definitely on our minds now. So Darnold now throw to the right side. He's got Sammy Street, who's going to have to step up in his absence, and he picks up a first down. So Sammy Street, he's a more of a physical receiver. Handoff, Le'Veon Bell, touchdown. He's in. One yard out, and Bell brings it back to within one score. And this offense might look different now, and it is going to be 7 to 14. So now the next drive, here's a handoff. Nice tackle, C.J. Mosley. He actually had a one-on-one -on -one tackle with uh, him earlier. He brought him down this time, and that brings it to a third and 11. Throw to left side, and it's going to be caught. Everett, he's going to fall down out of bounds, and we get the punt. So we start out the second quarter with possession now. Here is Darnold back out onto the field, throwing deep one-on-one. -on -one. Denzel Mims, and he goes up and gets it. First down inside the red zone. What a great catch by Denzel Mims. That's why you have that guy on the outside. So we get it to the 20 now. Carolina's gonna send a blitz. It's picked up perfectly. We throw across the middle, Herndon inside the five. Darnold looks good on some of his throws. He is only six for 12 though, first and goal. So now at the three, throw to the end zone. Mims, touchdown. 14-14, that's what a defensive stop will give you. And now we tie this game back up. And let's see what Bridgewater can do back on offense. So first and 10, here's a deep shot. And he's got Robbie Anderson again. It's going to be a touchdown on the first play. you got to be kidding me. It's Jimmy Smith. Jimmy Smith had the coverage and for some reason just allows Robbie Anderson to run right past him. Another blown play this time from our outside corners. So 21 to 14, here's Darnold back onto the field. Quick throw, Barrios, who's gonna have to play in the slot now instead of the outside. He picks up the first down. So now at about 37, handoff, Bell bottled up. Another tackle once again, that's Burns again on the stop. So from the 40, here's Darnold moving to the right side, gonna maybe try and throw on the run, and he has Barrios, and it's gonna be incomplete. And that was a third down throw, bringing it to a fourth and eight. And we had to pump the ball away. So here is Bridgewater backing onto the field. Quick throw. It's Gerald Everett in coverage, beating Bless Austin. First down. 
So at the 36 now, Bridgewater under center. We send some pressure. He gets rid of it right away to Everett. Another catch over Marcus May this time. Seems like Bridgewater really likes Everett at the tight end position as they run him out here at another route throw to left side though. It's the first catch by DJ Moore who comes into this game as a number 17th as far as overall goes receiver in the nation. So now first and 10 throw, it's gonna be a catch. And once again, another short, a little underneath throw. And that time it's Christian McCaffrey. Another quick throw, right back to him. First down. You got you see that all these short little under intermediate throws and these little short routes are really killing us. And really, we need one of these quarterbacks to step up and make a play on the ball. So now we get it to the two minute warning now. Third and four, Bridgewater from the shotgun, bunch to the left. He's gonna roll to the right though, flag on the play. He's gonna try to take off in a great tackle. CJ Mosley with a nice stop. And it's gonna be holding on the offense. So they're just gonna settle for three points. So now here we are before halftime, a minute and a half left. Darnold now from the pocket. Nice protection, but nobody can get open. It wasn't long enough. It's a sack, Burns on the sack that time. And that brings it to a third and 17. So Darnold now from the pocket. He's gonna throw across the middle in traffic. And Denzel Mims and Shaq Thompson were tangled up that time. And it ends up being incomplete. And another punt for this offense. Got he. So here's Bridgewater. This time on the offensive possession, he goes down Henry Anderson on the stop. So now second and long now, a minute left here in the first half. Here's Christian McCaffrey who gets up field and gets to about the 49. So this clock continues to run here, third and one. Bridgewater throws left side and he's got Everett again who's been very, very busy here in the first half as Bridgewater is already at a 300 yards passing here in the first half. So Bridgewater throws to the sideline and that's knocked away. Nice play by Levi Wallace knocking it away from Robbie Anderson. So third and 10, 20 seconds left. Bridgewater throws left side. He's got McCaffrey, who makes two men miss and gets inside a field goal range to about the 26 yard line. Carolina calls the timeout. They settle for three. And just like that, those little plays, just making men miss, set the Panthers up with the field goal before half. The difference between winning and losing, it is 27 to 14 going into halftime. So now we come out to start the second half. Carolina is just killing us on offense as we run the draw play to start it out. Le'Veon Bell, no running room. Shaq Thompson on the tackle. You see Le'Veon Bell, only eight attempts for six yards here to start the second half. So Darnold now throws deep to a wide open Herndon and he misses him. That was a big time throw we needed back on that one. So from the 23 now, third and nine, Darnold moves to the right side. He's buying some time and throws on the run and he's got Berrios. First down, Berrios using his body to shield off the defender for the catch. And it's a first down. Berrios looks good. He's gonna have to definitely step up now. Play action fake. Darnold moves, he throws, and it's gonna be caught by Denzel Mims. First down. Denzel Mims gets it to the 30 yard line, setting us up inside a field goal range, but we're thinking six. So read option this time, Bell stopped in the backfield. Just trying to get him different ways to get him the ball, and it's just not working. Carolina is all over Le'Veon Bell this game. So third and 15, quick throw across the middle, Herndon. First down, converting on the throw across the middle and they sent the pressure, and we found the open man. So from the 11 handoff, Le'Veon had some room, but it just closed up pretty quickly that time. His 10th carry goes to the six yard line. So Jacoby Beck checks into the game now, third and two. Here is Darnold, nobody to throw it to, nobody's open. He's just gonna roll out and throw this one away. Great coverage by Carolina, and we're probably gonna have to settle for the three points. So 27-17 now, here is Christian McCaffrey running the ball up the middle, breaking a tackle, and he breaks free, Christian McCaffrey. It's a touchdown for the Panthers. You have gotta be kidding me, what is up with this defense? We are allowing these big time touchdowns. That one goes for 75 yards, 
And you can just see Christian McCaffrey is right in the middle there. And Jordan Jenkins, and it looks like maybe Brad Brad uh, Christian is going to be there for the – Brad Matthews, I should say, was there for the stop. And I don't know what happened. We just didn't allow, you know, our guys to get the tackle that time. I don't know what happened on that one. So now 34-17 as Darnold misses that throw. Handoff, Le'Veon Bell, draw play, gain of three yards. So now we get it to the 25, 35, 25 now, third and seven. Darnold under center, throws to the right side. He's got Travis Wesco who is in as the third string tight end now that we traded Ryan Griffin. And we have to punt the ball once again. So the Panthers are playing pretty good defense. We're playing terrible defense. His, Teddy Bridgewater moves to the left side. He's going to throw on the run and somehow finds his target that time. And he does pick up the first down that time and picks up about a gain of 13. So first and 10 now, Bridgewater throws, and he's got Everett again. He steps out of bounds. That's a gain of four yards. So second and six this time. It looks like we're stacking the, blocks to, stacking the box to stop Christian McCaffrey, and it doesn't work. He's across the 50, over 100 yards, two touchdowns on only seven carries. So here's Bridgewater now, five wide receivers out there now. Christian McCaffrey lined up wide, he throws across the middle. Another catch by Gerald Everett. He keeps getting them first down. He's gotta be at 100 yards now. To under center, Bridgewater. He's gonna dump it off short to Christian McCaffrey. Too many guys to cover. It's another first down for the Carolina offense. They have just been killing us every single way. Now here's a little shovel pass this time, and this time it goes to Curtis Samuel. The first time you're hearing his name, they have so many weapons. They're inside the five. Handoff, Christian, touchdown. Three yards out, and this one looks like a blowout. Our defense can't come up with a stop. Our offense is just doing okay, and it seems like Carolina came to play. So here's a throw to the sideline this time, and that's caught. Barrios again. He is having himself a great game. He's over 100 yards with that catch. So here is Darnold now. Three wide receivers out there and two guys in the backfield. He tries to buy some time and just throws it away. The pressure got to Darnold. So from the 41-yard line now, third and 10. Darnold, the pressure was right there. It's a sack. Brian Burns again, his second sack of the day. And that brings it to a fourth and 22. We have no choice but to go for it here. Darnold under center. He's going to buy some time and throw the ball deep. And he gets hit on the throw. And it's going to fall harmlessly to the ground. And that is going to be holding on the offensive line. So it won't matter much anyway. So Carolina on that next possession ended up getting three points. So here we are back for one more possession here at the end of the game. Throw across the middle. Barrios with his sixth catch of the game. So three minutes left here. Darnold, quick throw. Sammy Street this time at about the 48-yard line. And that's a first down for Sammy Street. We eventually get the ball across the 50. Quick throw. Herndon, and he's got it. He's dropped a couple of passes today, but he's been doing pretty well. So now at the 21 now, Darnold trying to just get some confidence going into next week. Quick throw, Herndon's got it, beating Shaq Thompson in coverage and taking a big hit. He's inside the five. So we get it to the two now, Darnold. Quick throw to the end zone, and those are the throws you have to make. I mean, that could have been a, a, a one-score game and we needed that throw, but luckily it's just garbage time, doesn't matter too much. But still, got to make the throw. Fourth and goal. Just scrambling to the right side. And Darnold's in. It doesn't matter, though. Touchdown. And the Jets just get rolled in this game. The Panthers came to play on offense and even defense. They made some stops. And it ended up being 44-24. to 24, 500 total yards of offense for the Carolina Panthers. Just straight dominance by Teddy Bridgewater. He barely missed a throw. And he ended up having two touchdowns, 378 yards, 25 of 30. Sam Darnold was 50% uh, completion percentage. No interceptions, no turnovers, but it's just that their, their offense just was too much to keep up with. Christian McCaffrey had three on the ground. Le'Veon Bell had one. And looking at, you know, LaMichael Piran, he had a one big run. 
but really we were down the whole game so we were basically trying to throw the ball quite a bit and then it ended up being an injury by uh Jamison Crowder Barrio stepped up though at seven from 130 Denzel Mims had a touchdown he is close to 100 yards Sammy Street had a few catches Tariq Macklin only had one and our defense could not come up with a stop I, I think this was a eye-opening game our secondary needs to straighten up a little bit we gave up two blown coverage big time touchdowns to Robbie Anderson and we're gonna need to straighten that up definitely as we head into a very very tough part of the schedule and I need Jimmy Smith on the outside on the left side to step up because remember we traded Levi Wallace in hopes that Jimmy Smith would step up we do have bless Austin and Bryce Hall is just not there uh, ratings wise so I don't want to throw him out there but how about Robbie Anderson versus his former team two touchdowns almost 200 yards on just four receptions now a couple of upgrades after that game Denzel Mims gets one and he joins the 80 overall club hoping I can get another dev trait upgrade opportunity for him and maybe move him to superstar development that would be awesome now Michael P Ryan gets an upgrade he is the backup running back he didn't get many carries last game but he is heavily involved in the offense and then Brad Matthews I have no idea why I called him Brad Christensen last game he gets an upgrade for a speed rusher plus two in speed so that is actually really really intriguing he's gonna be a fast guy off the edge I'm hoping that the sack totals kind of evolve now he's the number 17 ranked left outside linebacker in the league I'm hoping that he maybe even gets a dev trait upgrade opportunity that would be awesome so we are seven and three and we are now tied with the Patriots for the division lead and they own the tiebreaker right now but the horrible news coming out of that game was Jamison Crowder torn labrum so many torn labrums this is just funny to see four weeks three weeks two weeks and one week at least we'll get our starting right guard Peter Weeks back next week he actually plays right guard he's listed as a left guard but he does play right guard BJ Hill will be back soon and hopefully he can stay healthy because he's been hurt a couple of times this season and then we're gonna miss Jamison Crowder probably for most of the remaining of the season so next week we go up against the Jacksonville Jaguars led by number three overall pick Brent Thompson they are seven and three right now and he is a number 17th ranked quarterback as far as ratings go in the league he's having himself a very very good season now I'm wondering you know if this is just fool's gold this year because I think they kind of caught fire a little bit and he is superstar X Factor he's got the bazooka trait here X Factor ability and I'm I'm interested to see how this X Factor works I, I don't think I've ever seen it Patrick Mahomes I believe has it and now Brent Thompson has it so that's gonna do it here for this episode I'm interested to see how Brent Thompson will do in his I guess debut here on in this series He's got 12 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, so he is turnover prone, but he can run the ball a little bit as, as well, so we'll have to watch out for that. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Next episode, you'll have the 7-3 Jets versus 7-3 Jaguars, so stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, hey, filling out these job applications. Life got hard after high school graduation. I went to college and your boy got financial aid. They gave me money, then I went and bought a pair of J's. And I bought a pair of shades. And I bought a new computer. Half a hundred dollars left, spent the rest on.